Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 2, lesson 1, addition properties and subtraction rules. Page number is 61. Okay boys, here in this lesson we have three addition properties, 1, 2 and 3, three addition properties and here on the next page two subtraction rules okay so you guys have to memorize these five things for this lesson we use these addition properties and subtraction rules to make the process quicker okay to add quickly to subtract quickly okay so here it is the first one let us see this example what they're doing uh, 10 plus 20 it will give you 30 or if you do 20 plus 10 if you switch the numbers right you will get the same answer so that property is known as commutative property here it is the first one we call it commutative property of addition okay guys the first one commutative property of addition it states that the order in which the numbers are added does not change the sum like if I do 4 plus 1 or I do 1 plus 4 it will give me 5 similarly for other numbers like if I do 6 plus 3 or 3 plus 6 both will give me 9 so we can change the order of the number in commutative property of addition okay now here the second one associative property of addition in associative property of addition we can change the order of the group here we were changing the order of the numbers now we are changing the order of the group see on both sides we have same numbers 5 5 2 2 3 3 but here we uh, draw the brackets around 5 and 2 and here we put the brackets around 2 and 3 now while solving this bracket will give me 5 plus 2 7 and this 3 down as it is 7 plus 3 equals to 10 similarly this bracket give me 2 plus 3 5 and this 5 down 5 plus 5 10 see guys both ways I get the same answer okay so in commutative property we change the order of the numbers 4 plus 1 it become 1 plus 4 in commute in associative property we have three numbers always we have the same numbers on both sides right 5 5 2 2 3 3 and at the same places even okay but we change the order of the group the order of the brackets okay here we place the brackets on 5 plus 2 here we have the brackets on 2 plus 3 and the third property which is very easy identity property of addition it states that the sum of any number and zero is the number any number plus zero gives you the same number or zero plus any number give you the same number 8 plus 0 8 0 plus 8 8 similarly 9 plus 0 9 0 plus 9 equals to 9 any number 1 million plus 0 gives you 1 million right so we have three properties again guys repeat with me commutative property of addition in which we change the order of the numbers okay associative property in which we change the order of the group the way in which numbers are grouped when added does not change the sum the numbers are same we change the order of the group in identity property of addition any number plus zero that is equal to the same number clear boys now let's move to the next page here it is now which property is this guys any number plus zero is equal to the same number 16 plus zero is equal to 16 yes that is identity property of addition okay so the answer is 16 here now now we have two subtraction rules the first one any number minus zero gives you the same number 
any number minus 0 gives you the same number. And the second subtraction rule, any number minus the same number equals 0. Any number minus the same number equals 0. Like 22 minus 0, 22. 14 minus 0, 14. 50 minus 0, 50. 1 million minus 0, 1 million. Clear? Here, 16 minus 16, 0. 20 minus 20, 0. 50 minus 50, 0. 1 million minus 1 million, 0. Right? So when we minus same numbers equals 0, any number minus 0 equals the same number. So these two are subtraction rule. Here it is. Any number minus what? 10 minus what will give you 10? So you know that 0. 10 minus 0. So it's a subtraction rule. The first one. Okay. Here it is. In the guided practice. 19 minus what is equal to 19? That is 0. And what it is minus. So subtraction rule. Okay. This one involves the group. So which property guys? Here it is. The numbers are same on both sides. 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3. Here we will see the numbers are same on both sides. 5, dash 2, 5, 9, 2. So the dash will be filled by 9. Clear? This 9. This dash is equal to 9. Here, 9. Okay? Why? On the other side, from the other side we see. 5 plus dash plus 2. 5 plus 9 plus 2. So 9 is here. Okay. Similarly, in commutative property, as you can see, no groups are involved, no brackets. So this is commutative property. So in this one, the numbers are same here. See, 4 plus 1, 1 plus 4. So in this one also we have same numbers. 74 plus 68. And what plus 74? We get this number 74 here. So of course, 68 here. The missing number from that side is 68. So we can match the numbers from other sides. Here we have 74 and 68. Here we have 74. So which one is missing? Of course, 68. Clear, boys? This is subtraction rule, associative property, and commutative property. Okay. Let us move to the next page now. Here it is. Which number is missing here? Let us see. 987. 987. So the first one is 9. 9 is missing and the groups are involved. So it is associative property. 14 plus 13. 13 plus 14. 14 is missing there. And we are switching the numbers. So it is commutative property. Okay. Any number plus 0 is equal to 19. So what plus 0? 19 plus 0. So that is identity property of addition. 25 minus what will give you 0? So of course if you minus all of it, then you will get 0. That is a subtraction rule. 25 minus 25. The answer is 25 here. Subtraction rule. Okay. Here it is. 17, 11, 18. 17 dash 18 so the dash will be filled by 11 okay and the groups are involved so associative property 37 minus what is equal to 37 minus 0 subtraction rule okay boys uh, this one use the properties of addition to add this is independent practice you have to add it and then match your answers from this video okay all these questions you have to solve by yourself and then match your answers from this video time is getting longer so i will make part two video for this lesson so wait for part two video